in this lecture we are going to learn about how to find the greatest common divisor of two numbers okay so for example if i ask you that find the greatest common divisor of 28 and 34 for example okay so what is the greatest common divisor of 28 and 34 so what euclid algorithm says is that it gives us a recursive formula which says that gcd of m and n is equal to gcd of n and m modulo n okay so this is the recursive formula you keep on applying it and the base case will be gcd of m comma n okay so if m comma 0 will be equal to m okay because what happens is m divides both m and 0 okay so for example let's try it so gcd of 28 and 34 becomes gcd of so 28 and 34 modulo 28 which is 6 okay now gcd of 28 comma 6 is gcd of 6 and 4 okay because when you divide 28 by 6 you will get a remainder 4 gcd again applying recursively 6 comma 4 is equal to gcd of 4 comma 2 and now if you go further so m is now here it's 4 and n is 2 so gcd of 4 comma 2 it's gcd 2 comma 4 when it's divided by 2 it leaves a rem remainder 0 okay so it becomes gcd of 2 comma 0 and when this is there so what will happen is it will return you 2 okay so this is there now for example so this is the simple recursive code gcd it returns an int it takes integer m and n if your m modulo n is 0 okay so it's base case then you return n okay because n is dividing basically m here okay and otherwise return gcd of n comma m percentage n or m modulo n so this is the simple recursive equation when i first saw this euclid algorithm so one thing if you try to think why is it so that okay it becomes gcd of m comma n becomes gcd of n and m modulo n so why is this formula true so this is a little bit at least for me i found it tricky that how this is becoming true and hence in this uh, lecture I try to prove it also and from there you will learn a lot of very good mathematical tools to handle algorithms for number theory okay so we will try to prove why this theorem holds and you in this we will learn a lot of new things for algorithms for number theory okay so what we will learn let's try to look here okay so let's come here so we have to prove that gcd of a and b okay so this is equal to gcd of b and a modulo b so how is this true so let's try to see gcd of a comma b we will first look at few facts or theorems about number theory and algorithms so very important first thing is GCD of two numbers A and B, it's basically the smallest positive linear combination of A and B. So it's AX plus BY where X and Y belongs to Z, that is the set of integers, okay? So GCD of A comma B can be represented as a linear combination of A and B. So X and Y here are integers, okay? And this linear combination is the smallest positive linear combination. Okay, so this is one thing you need as a tool to prove this. Next thing is, 
so if d is the gcd of a and b of course so this is the by definition the so greatest common divisor it means of course it will divide a and divide b both now let's come further so if yeah so that means so if now next very trivial but very important thing for this proof if we have to prove these lhs is equal to right hand side okay so if a divides b okay and b divides a it means a is equal to b okay so this is a beautiful thing and very powerful if a if you prove that okay a is a number which divides b so divisor of b and b is a divisor of a also it means both of the numbers are same which we are going to use so in order to prove these two are equal what we will prove that gcd of a comma b it divides gcd of b and a modulo b we will prove this similar to a divides b we prove gcd this divides gcd of b comma a modulo b then other way around also we will prove that gcd of b comma a modulo b divides gcd of a comma b so this is a beautiful thing okay and next let's try to see so now let d be the greatest common divisor of a b which means that d divides a and d divides b so now how will will d be a divisor of this gcd of this so now by this example of linear combination what i can do i can represent gcd of b comma a modulo b as bx for some x integer and a modulo b can be written as a minus a by b floor into b so for example you can write 19 modulo 4 okay so let me take this will become equal to 19 minus 19 by 4 floor into 4 so 19 by 4 floor of that will be 4 point this will be 4.75 so its floor will be 4 so 4 into 4 is 16 so 19 minus 4 is 3 so this formula is true and very succinct way of writing the remainder 8 divided by b okay so this is there you can write like this next let's try to see so this if you simplify it becomes b into x minus a by b into y plus a y okay and now what do i know i know that d divides from here d divides a and d divides b okay so d divides a it means this it can divide and it divides b also so it means it divides this whole thing and it means d also divides gcd of b comma a modulo b okay so this way you can prove that okay that d divides that gcd of a comma b divides gcd of b comma a modulo b okay so this was done now we will try to prove something more okay so we will try to prove the other way around okay so what we will do is okay let's try to see it here i have it here so d is now let's say it's the gcd of b comma a modulo b okay so how we can handle this so if d is the greatest common divisor of b and a modulo b it means d will be able to divide b and d will be able to divide a modulo b okay and a modulo b again i can write it as a minus a by b floor into b so if d divides b i know here and d divides this whole thing then d must be dividing a also so it means d divides a and now i know that okay d divides this d gcd of b comma a modulo b divides a it also divides b so it means now gcd of a comma b can be written as ax plus by where x comma y belongs to z set of integers so what will happen now so now this gcd of a comma b is a linear combination like this so it means that d will be able to divide this divide this and this so it divides 
overall GCD of AB. So now I have proved that GCD of A comma B is a divide divides GCD of B comma A modulo B and GCD of B comma A modulo B divides GCD of AB. So this proves that GCD of AB is equal to GCD of B comma A modulo B. 